Okay, so here we're going to try a long division problem where the, the dividend itself is rather large and the divisor is a one-digit number. So let's try 1,358,000 divided by 3. So again, the process of long division is to say, um, take this large number and f break it up into pieces. So we ask if 3 can go into 1 and say no in long division. Next we say, does 3 go into um, 13? And it does, because 3 times 4 is 12, where 3 times 5 is 15, so that's too large. So 3 goes into 13 at least 4 times. So here we put a 4, and what we're saying is, well, 3 times 4 is 12, and then we want to find the difference. Where's this little line right here? When we find that difference, we're finding what is left over. Okay, so 13 minus 12 is 1. Okay, does 3 go into 1? No, but let's bring down this digit right here. Okay, bring that 5 down. Does 3 go into 15? Yes, 5 times. 3 times 5 is 15. And then we want to find out, okay, what's left over? Well, nothing. So let's bring down this 8 right here. Does 3 go into 8? Yeah, it goes into it twice. 3 times 2 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. Does 3 go into 2? No, but we can bring down this 0 right here. Does 3 go into 20? Yes. How many times? Well, 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 7 is too large. That's 21. Okay, so 3 times 6 gives us 18. And we subtract and there's another 2 there. Does 3 go into 2? No, but let's bring down this 0 right here. And look, we have another 20. First we had 20 here, and now we have another one. Does 3 go into 20? Yes, 6 times. Okay, 3 times 6, 18. Okay, subtract, we get another 2 and another 0. You see a pattern here. Does 3 go into 20? Yes, how many times? 6 times. Okay. Um, 3 times 6 is 18. And we subtract again, 20 minus 18, all right over here, will give us 2. But now, this keeps going. We still have a 2. There's still something left over. So what that means is, now we need to work into the decimals. And since we're always going to have more zeros to bring down, again, I bring this zero down. It's another 20. And this decimal point will also apply up here. Well, we're always going to have more 6s, because 3 is going to go into this 20 another 6 times. And 3 times 6 is 18, and we subtract 20 minus 18, and we get another 2. And we're going to just, you can try it. We're going to keep having more and more 6s. So the answer here is to have a 6 repeating. So the answer is, how many times does 3 go into this number? Well, 452,666 and 0.6 repeating times, or that's 2 thirds. Now, why does this make sense? What's the deal with long division? Well, the idea, again, is that we take this large number, 1,358,000, and in order to divide it by 3, what we think of is, oh, um, how can I break this number up and, and see how many times 3 goes into each piece? So what I do is, first I say 3 goes into 13. But what I really meant there is 3 goes into 1,300,000. That was my first move. I said 1,300,000 divided by 3. What's that? Well, we wrote f 13 divided by 3 is, is f at least 4. So here what we said was 1,300,000 divided by 3 is really 4. But look where the 4 is over here. It's in the 400,000th place. So that really is 400,000. And then we said, oh, but we, we have to get this number. So we did a calculation. What is 400,000 times 3? Oh, that's 1,200,000. In other words, we haven't gotten there yet. So, and you can see it right here, look at this, 3 times 400,000 is 12, but that 12, that's 1,200,000, which is exactly what we have here. And then we subtracted 13 minus 12. And what we're doing there is comparing 1,300,000 right, minus 
1,200,000. Uh, and when we got a one, a, a one there, right, what is that really saying? Well, that's, that's saying that there's only 100,000 between them. And now, this is, this is where I think long division helps clarify, because what's happening is we're trying to find how many times 3 goes into this large number by breaking it in pieces. Well, we knew we went into 1,300,000 at least 400,000 times, which means our answer is going to have at least 400,000 in it. And then we said, well, what's left over? Well, 400,000 times 3, that's 1,200,000. Oh, so we need to, to, to multiply 3 by more to get up to that number. And then we subtracted to find how much more. We need at least 100,000 more. But what we said in long division was, oh, well, and this is, this is the weird part, 3 could go into 100,000. We can do that. But why do that? And that's why we bring down the 5. Right? It's a good thing we do that in long division because that tells us, oh, well, before we check 100,000, let's look at 150,000. Oh, okay. So 150,000 divided by 3 is what? Well, that's 50,000. Because, I mean, why, why bother looking at how many times 3 goes into 100,000 if there's even more left over? And that's what we're doing when we bring down these digits. We're finding out what's left over to get up to the number we need. So 150,000 divided by 3 is 50,000. And you can see that right here. This 15, right? Um, 3 goes into 15 five times, or 50,000 times. So, so far our answer is 400,000 and 50,000, and we keep going. Now we do the same process. Well, what is 3 times 50,000? Oh, it's 150,000. It goes into it perfectly. And that's what we did right here. 3 times 50,000 is 150,000. That's what this 15 represents. And this 0 says, oh, there's nothing left to divide. So we would be done. Right, because there's nothing left over, but that's why we bring down this digit, because now we look at what's left over still, and there's still 8,000 left over. And 8,000 divided by 3, well, that's at least 2,000. That's what we said here, we look at 3 into 8 twice, so, and then we look at that, well, oh, oh and that 2,000, sorry, is part of our answer. Well, 3 times... 2,000 equals 6,000. And this is where it starts to repeat. 3 times 2 is 6. This 6 right here is 6,000. And we ask, oh, does, does 3 go into does three go into that evenly? Yes, nicely, right? 3 times... 3 times... Um, I'm sorry. 3 times 2 is 6. Okay. We subtracted the difference. There's still 2,000 left. Oh, here it is. Okay. So 3 times 2,000 is 6,000. And there's still, running out of room here, a difference of 2,000 left over. Why? Well, because 8,000 minus 6,000, we're trying to get all the way to 8,000, is 2,000. I'll write over here. 8,000 minus 6,000 equals 2,000. Okay. So how many times does 3 go into 2,000? And that's where we start to break it down right here. You can see this 2 in the thousands place. 3 goes into 2,000 600 times. 3 times 600, 100, 1,800. And we keep breaking this down, and that's where the pattern forms in the long division, or in any division process, where there's no full remainder. But, but I guess I have two points here before I go, is that... Um, this process of division is very in intuitive, where you break it apart and find out what's left over. I think, though, um, that long division condenses the process into an order for us, where it's easier to follow, although conceptually less easy to think about. Here on the right, you can see the answer starting to form. 3 goes into, into 1,358,000, 400,000, 450,000, 452,000 times at least. So even for unfriendly numbers, we can break it down intuitively, but I would say when they're really nasty, use long division, the process can really help. All right.